Yeah, Hitachi Excavator. I updated a video yesterday about to get the pin out from this hydraulic cylinder, which I'm having problem with. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it out, so I had to build a frame around just to push the push the cylinder, push the pin out. So I'm using these beans, I beans 100. So um, I sort of welded the C sections around so to build a like a square frame that's to be able to apply the jack force on the paint as you see it's actually pushing against the pin that's about 10 tons of pressure which uh, they'll rip the shit out of the um, any rust or any uh, imperfection on the way and the pin will be forged into this space here as you can see it's coming out from there so, it's, uh, so far so good I had to lift this one up just to clear the space for this frame um, yeah this frame is hold uh, is hanged on pretty much the air I tightened up to the corners you guys can do the better job I just hold the jack with this rope so it's not going to fall down. I'm just going to apply the pressure and see how we are traveling. So, I've got a force of about 10 tons. And See the pin is actually slowly slowly getting inside. I welded the round yesterday just to soften the uh, rust a little bit. I created a little bit of expansion that didn't work that well. So I guess sometimes you have to use the force. You can't be um, so linear and This is pretty uh, easy, yeah, it's going in, I can see that, so no trouble. It'll travel about 50 mil, which is enough, then I can use a little support at the back of it and just push it all the way out, which is fine. Yeah, as you can see, I had to build in this frame and weld all these sections together. So that's uh, how to get a very stubborn pin out of the hole. Um, and I guess that's one of the solutions without creating any mess you can get the pin out and you can reuse it if it's healthy uh, I've seen videos of people welding um, punching through the through the actual pin using the torch and the pin is destroyed the surrounding all the ceilings and seals and all of that will be destroyed so I, I guess this is a very uh, environmental friendly sort of uh, way of doing it but yeah, obviously you have to build a frame you have to have the steel um, ready to go so thanks for watching yeah, that's my progress the third day yeah once I get this one out I can get it to the shop so they can replace all the seals for me well, I will do it myself uh, it's not a big deal so yeah that's about it just bye